Good morning guys, welcome back to the Sullivan family. So today we have been very kindly sent by Ultenic, which is a brand we've worked with before. If you've seen our air fryer videos, air fryer, um, we've worked with them before on our, um, well, we've had two air fryers actually. We had um, the smaller one, which my parents now have. Um, and then we've got the, the twin one over here, which is great. Um, so they're both very well used all the time. My mum and dad love theirs. Um, they found that it saved them quite a lot on, um, you know, not having to turn the big oven on and things like that. It's great. Today we have been sent this vacuum cleaner. <clears throat> Excuse me, this vacuum cleaner. So this is the U12 Vesla vacuum cleaner. Um, it is a cordless vacuum it also has something called green eye technology which i'll have to tell you about in a minute when i open it and tell you the stuff inside so we have got a shark hoover a corded shark hoover um because obviously we do a lot of vacuuming in this house um a lot of vacuuming and we need a powerful hoover um we get through quite a lot of hoovers as well over the years um obviously we probably use our hoover or our vacuum cleaner um 10 times as much as a normal average family because it's always out it's always been used and there's so many people in the house and we have girls with very long hair which gets everywhere believe me it's everywhere so the hoover gets used on a daily basis quite a few times upstairs and downstairs so we have a, a, a second cordless vacuum upstairs, but I do find that it's not as powerful as my corded shark. It's great for just going around and about with, but if I want like proper um, suction, I have to use my shark. So this one will be a test to see how good it, um, how good it is. So it looks very much like, it looks a little bit like the, uh, my, well, a cordless stick vacuum, like the Dyson's, like all those sorts of ones. So I'm gonna open it up. I will move you down. So you can see what I'm doing. So we have this. Let's open it up and see what, we have. Okay, minute. Right. It comes in a very neat little box. I must admit. So. This is what we have. So, if you've watched our last air fryer video, you'll know that we left the instruction book in and nearly caught it on fire. We can't do that with this one because it's a Hoover. <laughs> so we can't do it this time. Right, so it has, oh, that's a warranty registration. Model U12 Vesla. So, Instructions on putting together, um, all that sort of stuff, which we will have a look at in a minute. Maintenance. Um, let's have a look what we've got in the box. So, I think that might be a charging, that's a battery pack. And that is a head oh i like these ones because they've got brushy brushy head i always find it really handy having a brush head that's the only thing that our shop doesn't actually have is a proper brush head i can i know i could buy one separately but i do find that handy especially having hardwood having hardwood floors or um laminate floors you need a brush head right we have good old sucky one wand Oops. 
that's got screws in it. Leave that bit for then. Right, this, this is the actual. Oh, that's a bit snazzy. So you've got the empty bit. Good. Right. So underneath, I'll move this stuff, is the filter. This is the brush head, which has got a swivel by the looks of it, which is good. Plug. I'm guessing that's a wall mount. And then we have this bit. Which is obviously the stick, which by the looks of it extends, which is really handy. Okay, so I'm going to put it together. I normally leave these sorts of things to bend, but it can't be that hard. So I will move it to here so you can kind of see what I'm doing. Right, let's have a look at the instructions. So the instructions say, Telescopic tube, got it. Display, control buttons, vacuum clean the storage rack, got it. And I think that bit goes on the side. Um, power adapter, dust into long crevice nozzle, two in one dusting brush, floor brush, battery installation and removal. Insert the battery pack into the main body I think that's already in there, isn't it? Isn't that the battery pack? Or is that the actual battery pack? Oh, I see. It goes in there. Battery pack. Like that. Which is a little bit like our other one because you can take... So we've got a, a cordless Jimmy Hoover upstairs um, at the moment. And you can take... It charges on its stand or you can charge the battery separately as well. I think this one just charges into this one. Hang on, let's see how you get it out again. I'm not entirely sure about that. I don't know if there's another way of charging that or if you just have to charge it on the thing. We shall have a look. Right, insert, install a metal tube and floor brush. So. Click. Obviously, you can stretch it as well. You need to, and click. I mean, it's like super, super simple. And then you can obviously have it like that, or have it longer. Um, so that's that bit. And then you can use this one if you are just like the other one. So you just unclip and you can click, click all of these in. So you can use the brush like that, or you can use the tool like that. So you can use it as a handheld as well, which is so handy, especially when you're doing beds, mattresses, all those sorts of things. And you don't want to have, because like I said, our corded, vacuum it is a lift away one and it is so you know it's, it's it's a really good hoover um but it's it's quite heavy so you know it's it's good for what it's good for which is hoovering like the main bulk of the house um but when you just want a quick lightweight one we've also got a a little shark handheld we've got a lot of vacuums 
but they all get used. <laughs> they all get used. There's a lot of people wanting a vacuum cleaner. We've got a little tiny handheld shark just for around the table and stuff after dinner. But these sorts of ones are fab to have. So I want to know how you put the filter in or if that's a spare filter. Um, so charging, plug the adapter into the AC power socket. Yep. So by the looks of it, it just gets charged like that, which I'm guessing it can just literally just charge the battery or when it's on. So let us just check and see if this is, because that looks like a spare HEPA filter. And I don't know if there's one <clears throat> in there already. So it will take, you've got a fancy, I don't know if you can see that, a display. Oh look, it's got fancy light. Sounds pretty good. I don't know how you take it apart. I need to know how to take things apart. Maybe that's, um, Let me work it out and I'll come back. I knew there'd be a simple explanation. So there is a button just under here and you push it and this all comes apart, which means you can clean this. It's making me look at my other vacuums and think I really need to clean them and I really need to clean the filters because it's amazing how quickly the filters get clogged up. Um, I mean, my filters are minging. They all need cleaning, to be perfectly honest. And it does make a massive difference. Um, as I think sometimes you think, you know, it's not overly important to clean filters, but it really is because they do get, they do get really clogged up. Um, I always clean mine just with, just with water, really, under the tap. Rinse them out. Um, can add a little bit of washing up liquid. That's actually allowed, but I do. Um, just to give it and then give it a good rinse out and then leave them to dry. I think the reason that I I forget to do it half the time is because I think I must empty that filter and then you need you need to leave it like to dry overnight. And I haven't got any spare filters. I really ought to buy spare filters and then I can wash one and use one. I'd probably do it more. So this one's obviously got a spare filter, which is fab, which means I can wash. So you've got the filter in there and then that in there that you can take out. You can wash that, I think, or maybe wipe it. It's got wires, so I'm not entirely sure how wet you can get it. I'm always a bit dubious to how wet you can get these things. And the filter looks fairly easy to clean and having spare ones fab. So then you just can, I think that one might need actually unscrewing if you're gonna take that one apart to clean. I'm not sure, I'd have to look into that. But then, literally, put it back together, which is great. Easy, easy peasy. What I am gonna do is take it upstairs and give it a go and see what the shock is like. I'm going to give it a go in here just with the handheld bit and the brush just to see how powerful it is at picking up things on the floor. I don't want to use it because it's clean. <laughs> don't want to make it dirty. Anyway, let's give it a go.
actually tells you as well how much runtime you've got and how much battery power is left. And I think you can have it at like different um, power strengths. So, but obviously the higher power strength you use on a cordless vacuum, the quicker the battery time goes down. Um, and I do, it's actually picked up quite a lot. The suction's actually quite good for a cordless hoover. I do find quite often that the cordless ones don't have as good a suction as um, corded ones for whatever reason. But that's actually quite, it's actually quite a good suction on it. I shall give it a go on, let me put it together with the big one. And I'm going to, I think you can have a brush head or carpet. Oh, it's got lights. I'm going to give it a go on the carpet out here and um, see how we get on. Just excuse my washing. I'll take you with me and show you oh, what we are doing. hoovered my floor yesterday literally yesterday that's from that that this is hair from the carpet and the carpet's fairly new as well so but that's actually quite I'm quite impressed with that I hoovered my carpet yesterday not that you would believe it um but you could probably hear there's different different um strengths so when you press the button, it goes up uh, to more powerful. Um, but I'm pretty impressed with that, to be honest. So the the green eye technology that we're saying about, it's just fallen over, is the green light at the front. So which allows you to see, especially when you're doing floors and stuff, um, like microscopic stuff on the floor dust all those sorts of things that you can't normally see i do find that's quite a good feature with the other vacuums that have got lights on them not just because they're pretty lights because they are but because it helps you to see um where you're hoovering what you're hoovering and bits that you might have missed so that's that's quite a good feature on it as well um the wall mount obviously allows you to mount it on the wall should you want to which is fab. Um, it's always handy to have, like with the uh, cordless ones like that, you can, with the telescopic pipe, reach the ceilings, um, cobwebs, this, this floors. I'm forever using, just, just needing something to just quickly go around. And sometimes with the, although, like I said, the corded ones are great for bigger areas when you're doing a big hoover, um, when you're hoovering the whole sort of downstairs, which we do every day, every night. Um, but these, like the cordless ones, like this Lieutenant one, are fantastic for when you just need to quickly get the hoover out and you don't want to get the whole big thing out. It's there on the wall. You literally just pick it up, do a bit of hoovering, done. I find it really handy. We have laminate floors upstairs in the bedrooms, um, apart from one bedroom. They've all got um, laminate floors. Anybody with laminate floors or hardwood floors knows how quickly dust builds up on them. Um, you know, you can hoover one day, it'll all be back the next day. Like carpet somehow just, you don't notice it so much on carpet. It's there, but it doesn't kind of get spread around. But when you've got laminate or hardwood floors, it's just, it just seems to be constantly there. Um, even though you've just hoovered it. So being able to just quickly whip the hoover out and or the vacuum out, I keep calling it a hoover, it's a vacuum. The vacuum out and just quickly go around especially like under radiators where there's been anything you know like heat or anything like that it all seems to just congregate on the, under my radiator in our bedroom it all seems to congregate um most days uh but yeah i'm quite impressed okay
okay so that's it guys um so this is a utenic u12 vesla vacuum cleaner um normally retails at about 220 i think it's 219.99 um but at the moment and with our 10 pound discount code which when i'll put in the link below you can get it for 130 so i think that's till the 11th um you can get them on amazon ben will put the link for that in as well in the video description so yeah until the 11th and using our code um of february you can get this for 130 instead of 220 which is pretty good um i'm quite impressed just don't look at the dirt in it because it's only from a small amount i'm going to put it outside the kids room so they can up in the other side of the house so they can hoover anyway that's it guys i hope you've enjoyed the video um all the as i said all the links will be in the video description below um so don't forget to drop us a like uh subscribe if you're not subscribed already and we will see you in the next video